Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1AAuto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. Alright, so on the way in today, I hit something that had a nail in it, uh, and it flattened my tire. So I'm going to plug it. Um, obviously the wheel's off the vehicle, but you can do this when the, the wheel and tire are on the vehicle. The first thing I'm going to do is find the leak, and the air is totally out of the tire, which means it's a big leak. So I'm just putting the air in the tire. Okay, and you can hear it's a big enough leak. Obviously, that's the first thing you do is you listen for the air coming out, um, and that's the easiest way to find it. If you're not lucky enough to be able to hear the leak, you can use just some water with a little bit of soap in it, and you pour it on the tire. Well, that leak's huge, <laughs> so it doesn't really work. But uh, if you have a small leak, uh, hold on. let me do this. So say we had a smaller leak, you can see that the soapy water will bubble up around the leak, and it'll be easier to find it. Okay, so obviously we have a big leak here. I'm going to use my 1A Auto tire repair kit. I wish I had this with me when I hit the nail. Um, I would have been able to do it right on the road. But first step, you find the leak and then use this bit and you want to route out the hole. Get it cleaned out. Obviously you would remove the nail um, or whatever is in there with pliers first. And then we're going to take our other handle, which is the threading needle, and our repair. Take our repair off, put it right in the middle of the threading needle. This is some rubber cement solution. I'm going to coat the repair with it. And then I am going to stuff the repair down into the tire. Okay, so it's still sticking out a little bit. I'm going to turn it until I see that starting to turn. I'm going to plop quick. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for just a little while. I'll cut this off with a razor blade so that it's the uh, same level as the tread and then we'll refill it. Alright, see how it worked. I'm going to fill up the tire to pressure. We're at 32 PSI. I don't hear anything, which is good. A bit of soapy water. And I don't see anything. So, take a pair of pliers. I'm just going to lightly pull up on the plug just to give myself a little room and kind of just keep it steady. And trim off the excess. Just kind of using the pliers as kind of a backstop so I don't cut into the tire as well. And then as you as the tire wears down, the plug will wear down as well. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. 
with a company that's here for you on the internet and in person.